Introducing the Access Custom Message Box template brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Rost. If you follow my YouTube channel, you'll know that recently I just did a 10 part series on building custom message boxes. And there's the link right there. And that's how you can make message boxes that are better than the built in standard message box, which is kind of boring. And throughout the series, I showed you all kinds of stuff like how to use dialog boxes, how to send open arguments to a form including multiple arguments like a title and a prompt, how to add custom captions to our buttons, so you can have yes, no, yes, no, cancel, true, false, on, off, all that stuff. How to add a third button, how to specify which of the three buttons is the default button if the user just presses enter, that's a big one. How to set the format properties like the colors and the font, the font size, all that stuff. How to specify the height and width of the form. How to put custom icons on the form, like the question mark, the exclamation, all that stuff. And how to get the message box to beep one time, three times, as many times as you want. Now again, you can go watch my message box series if you want to. It's on my website, it's on my YouTube channel, most of it's absolutely free. And you could build all of this yourself following along my videos. The trouble is writing the code for that custom message box can be quite cumbersome after you specify all the different options and the font size and the window height and the window width and it's all kind of difficult to do just eyeballing it. Even though it can make some pretty cool message boxes, to do all that by hand can take a while. So that's why I built this little tool that lets you build the message box in a form by specifying the options. Let me show you how it works. This is basically an access database. It's got a form here and it's got all the different options you can set in your custom message box. You put your prompt up here, title, you got three buttons you can use. Yes, no, yes, no, cancel or add whatever you want in there, abort, retry, fail or whatever you'd like. You just pick from a list here. Yes, no, cancel. You set the default button and the cancel button. So if you want the default to be no, for example, just change that to two. You can set the form back color and you get the little pop-up prompt here. You can change it if you want to make it that purple or whatever. The same thing with the font color. The font name, you get the font pop-up from Windows System. So you can pick any one of these that you want. I'll pick Tahoma. Let's find Tahoma. There it is. Hit OK. You can change the font size if you want to in here as well. Or use the special font sizer right there. See that? Make it bigger, make it smaller. I added a sizer button. And this will open up a sample of the message box there if you want to make it taller and wider to fit your content, right? And then hit yes, and it saves that size. Or you can make it smaller. Let's make it smaller. Go about there. The buttons don't size on the sizer form, but they will when you open up the full one. Hit OK or yes. You can specify an icon if you want to, question, exclamation, and so on. I'll leave it blank for now. The number of beeps you want, right? Two beeps, three beeps, whatever, or let's go zero beeps. And then you can decide if you want it to return a value as a function or if you want it to write a subroutine. Let's leave it as a function for now so we get the value back. When you like your options, hit create my message box and it writes the code for you right there. Now you can copy this and paste it wherever you want, anywhere in your database, or you can click the add to module and test button. What that does is it actually writes out the code in a module and it pops up the box for you so you can see it right there. And here I can see yeah, it's a little, maybe I want a little bit more size on the right over there. Let me hit cancel. It tells you what the return value was. Let's go back to the sizer, make this a little bit wider perhaps like that. Say yes. And now let's try it again. And there it goes. It looks a lot better. All right, I'll hit no. And where does it put it? Well, it puts it right here in this my message box mod right there module. You can click open module. It opens it up right for you. There you go. And you can see it adds it in here. Each time you add a new box, it just tacks on the date stamp on the end there. And you can come in here and you can copy the code and put it wherever you want inside your database. And you can create as many of these as you want. There's a sample test. There's the War Games one, right? Would you like to play a game? There it is. All right, say yes. There's your return value. And that now gets added to your module. There it is. And that's it. That's the custom message box template, super simple to use. It wasn't super simple to build. There's a lot of complex VBA code that goes behind this. But the beauty of this is you don't need to know all that complex VBA code. All you have to know is just how to take what it gives you 
and plop that in your code wherever you want. And you've got your own custom My Message box. I've got a separate developer walkthrough that shows you exactly what you have to do to integrate this into your existing databases. And if you have any questions or you'd like to find out more, there's the website right there. Visit that or post a comment down below. Again, I'm Richard Rost from AccessLearningZone.com. Thanks for watching. Live long and prosper. I'll see you next time.